Howdy, how's it going? My name's Davy Chappie, and it's time to talk about the greatest RPG that you've ever seen. I'm gonna be going over Honey Heist, a game that balances acting out delicate crime conspiracies along with your crime friends, with the recurring problem that you are actually a bear. As always, keep in mind that most of this is just my opinion, and if you feel like something this adorable couldn't possibly take part in conspiracy to commit crime, feel free to plan your heists however you want. And real quick, I'd like to give a brief shout out to all of my new patrons this month. Dawn Starblazer! Bad! Ninja, Lyle McAwesome, Soby the Robot, Zonary, Theodore Sroka, Pyro Style or Pyro Style, it's kinda hard to tell, Max Brandy, Rude Wolf, Paradigmster, Soggy Pop the Bobbly, Sir Bow, Lord of the Universe. Thank you all so much for pledging to my Patreon. With your help, I will be able to continue moving throughout the country until I have coerced everyone into the Cult of Chap. But with that out of the way, let's begin. So, Honey Heist is a game created by Grant Howitt, a man who spends most of his time making small one-off RPGs that you can enjoy so that you don't have to buy dozens of books, spend hours coming up with intricately designed worlds and stories for three-dimensional multifaceted characters, or read 30 pages of rules just to play the game. It's what's called a one-shot game, meaning that it's meant to be digested and played in an afternoon without any rigmarole or deep characterization. In fact, there is an entire subgenre of RPGs created with the express purpose of going against the established idea of what an RPG is meant to be. In fact, of giving you a quick one-off game that you can digest in 20 minutes and then spend the next two hours mad labbing with your friends over it. One such game is Honey Heist, an RPG where you and your friends are both bears and criminals, and your mission is to infiltrate Honeycon 2017 and steal as much of the golden nectar as you can get your paws on. The entire game fits in two pages, one for the players and one for the DM, and the rules are incredibly bare bones, focusing a lot more on spontaneous roleplay and improvisation as opposed to having rules that cover all your bases. In fact, the only real stats in the game come from two sources, your criminality and your bear anatomy. Your criminal stat helps helps you accomplish all your crime needs, and your bear stat helps you get twinks. Both stats start at 3, you roll a d6 when you need to use one, and you check to see if the roll is equal or lower than your stat, and then you can raise your criminal stat by acting out a flashback sequence wherein you explain the plan to the rest of your party a la every crime movie. But be warned, these stats are the duality of mammal, the two bears inside of you that represent your dual aspect, and the bear that grows stronger is the bear you feed. Whenever you raise one stat, you lower the other, and if you ever max out your criminal stat, then you'll go mad with your newfound enlightenment and double cross the party, revealing that you weren't a criminal bear at all. You were a bear criminal. The only way to lower your crime stat is by raising your bear stat, which is only possible by eating honey. However, even this has its drawbacks. If you max out your bearitude, then you'll come to the stark realization that you are, in fact, a normal bear at a convention full of people, and then you'll flip out and start mauling everything until animal control arrives. Beyond that, everything else is just random stuff for you to laugh at, or to give you a bare bones idea of what you're doing. Like how you can play as one of six types of bears, and each one has its own special ability that is never clarified further than panda bears can eat things that look like bamboo, and polar bears can swim. Those, plus random things like roles within the party, like face and brains, or descriptors like rookie or washed up, don't actually mean anything in the grand scheme of things, but they help you realize that you're just making up the game for yourself, and the actual game is little more than a prompt for an improv class. But then, isn't that what all tabletop games are when you think about it? Plus, you can roll on a table for what type of hat you want on your bear, and if you roll really well, you can put multiple hats on your bear, so all criticisms can be thrown out the window. Just imagine it, you are Bear Kingpin Don Grizzle, along with your fellow team Teammates, the Muscle, Justin Bearhands, the Hacker, Travis Fuzzy Fingers, and the Getaway, Bear Bee Driver, you're ready to infiltrate HoneyCon, the biggest bee convention in Buzzerton, and steal not only their honey, but also the Queen of Bees, once exiled, now returned. You sneak through the front door, Bearhands disguising himself as a bee while Fuzzy Fingers hacks the honey computers so that the scanners are none the wiser. Once inside, however, you find the convention hall, where independent artists share their contributions to the field of honey and also get harassed by creepy stalker bees that won't leave their booth, and Bearhands starts to lose his cool. After trying out all the free samples, Don Grizzle is in serious danger of losing his muscle to the reality of bareness, so he makes a last-ditch effort. He calls in help, and before Bear Hands can get the last bit of honey in his mouth, Bear Bee Driver drops through the roof in his 1981 Volkswagen, as the party has a flashback scene about setting up this very contingency, and lands on Bear Hands' bare hands, crushing them and saving the day. Bear Bee Driver bears off to validate his parking, while Fuzzy Fingers pinpoints the location of the Queen. All they have to do is make it past the defensive laser grid, get the Queen, and get out. Bear Hands tries to get past the lasers, but his rotund bear body gets him caught, and he is tased by the lasers until he's knocked unconscious. It is at this point that Don Grizzle reveals his ace card. He was disguised as one of the lasers the whole time. Having been the best man at one of the lasers' weddings, he was given a job as an infrared light, and now he's on the other side of the grid, ready to capture the queen. When he steps inside, the queen is ready for him, with an army of security bees wearing yellow jackets. But just in the nick of time, Bear Bee Driver crashes through the roof! His barking wasn't validated, so he had to go back the way he came. They nab the queen, jump in the car, and make their great escape to the hottest 
bare spot in town, Home Depot. This is your average adventure in the game of Honey Heist, and while you probably aren't going to get a lot of playthroughs out of this game, hopefully you can crack it open when your group is burned out from an epic 100 hour campaign so that they can relax with something a little more bearable. But that'll about do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, check out my social media in the description below, and maybe support me on Patreon so that I can keep talking about smaller one-shot videos like this and not have to worry about the incredibly small runtime. But yeah, Davy out.